I'd like to take a look at how to actually put a shape tween on a motion path. As we know, if you actually create a shape tween, I'm going to go ahead and create one real quickly here. Function F7 actually puts in a different, uh, a different, a blank keyframe here, and if I put another shape here, and in between these two on the timeline, I actually hold down the mouse and create and and choose create shape tween. You can see that over time, the uh, shape changes from a rectangle to a circle. But of course, that happens all in one straight line. What I'd like to do is put a shape tween on a motion path, and you can only put symbol instances on motion paths, and so. To accomplish that, we are going to take our take our shape tween, and we're going to put it inside of a movie clip. So I'm going to go ahead and paste a graphic in that I that I have uh, in Illustrator. And as you can see in the properties, this is when I select it, it's a drawing object. So I'm going to um, go ahead and, and um, right-click on it and tell it that I would like, like this to be a symbol instance. And I'll click OK there. And I would like to also right-click on this and tell it to create a motion tween. Let's have this tween happen over the course of, say, 45 frames. Now, at 45 frames, I would like it to be up here, and I would also like to have it follow this motion guide, this motion path. So now you can see it, it swoops around like that. But at the end of this point in time, I would like to have this be a letter and not this shape anymore. So to accomplish that, I'm going to go inside the symbol. So if I click twice, I go into symbol editing mode. You see I'm inside my symbol here. And now um, I can select my shape. And you can see it's a drawing object. I'm going to go ahead and do um, a modify break apart. That's Command-B, Control-B on a PC. Now it's a shape. And at 45 frames down here, I'm going to insert a blank keyframe. That's a function F7. Now, the problem is I can't see where my uh, bird shape is, and so I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click where it says onion skin. Now I can see it. You can see this gray, uh, this gray area sticking out here. This is showing me the, per the frames that came before my, uh, my current, where my playhead is. And so now I can actually get the type tool and put a letter here. Let's go ahead and I like to make this a little bit bigger. And I'll put a, a B here. Let's position this. Go back to my tools here and get my move tool. Let's position this here. And let's make it a little bit larger. So I'm going to shift drag here to make this a little bit larger. Now, as you can see in properties, this is still a text object. So I'm going to uh, do a command B, it's control B on a PC that also breaks that down. This drawing object, one more command B or control B on a PC, and it too is a shape. So now I can turn off my onion skinning. I don't need it anymore. And I'm going to uh, tell this to become a shape tween. So now over this course of time inside this symbol, I have my shape tween, which I could not put on a motion path, but it's on a motion path now. And I'm going to create a new layer for actions because I need this to stop at the end so that it so that uh, it'll it'll actually sit in place once it's converted. So I'm going to go to my actions window here, and I'm going to type stop. Close parentheses semicolon. And notice I'm inside my symbol. If I click back to scene one. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and put uh, this layer up on top that has nothing in. I'm going to name that Actions. 
and I will take this keyframe and I will also move it out to the end and I'll type stop in there. Close parentheses and a semicolon to end that statement. And now I'm ready to test my movie. And as you can see, it actually follows the motion path, but on the way to where it rests finally, it actually changes to a B. So that's how you would actually use the shape tween inside of a movie clip so that it can be on a motion path.